Welcome back to lecture 51 segment 2 this time with the runaway reactions. Of course, you wouldn't be able to understand runaway reactions except if you have understood segment 1 of this lecture. So let's talk about runaway reactions and CSTR. In many reacting systems, the temperature of the upper steady states these are the upper steady states okay and these are its the temperature range of the upper steady states so the temperature of the upper steady state may be sufficiently high that is undesirable or even dangerous to operate at this condition yeah let's compare to a lower steady state this is the lower steady state and this is the range Okay, so you can see that it is significantly higher, the higher steady state temperatures, significantly higher than the lower steady states. For example, at the higher temperatures, secondary reactions can take place. So you, can have, you could have undesired reactions, and these undesired reactions could have undesired product, and it could pose a cool, like, uh, could uh, result to dangerous situation or as in the case of propylene glycol examples 8 8 and 8 9 evaporation of the reacting materials can occur so you lose this material and worse than that you could build up for other cases for instance you could build up pressure inside the reactor and again if these uh, uh, evaporating reactants or products were, vol were very volatile and uh, combustible then that's another type of dangerous situation for a CSTR we shall consider runaway okay which can cause it be caused by ignition okay so we shall consider runaway to occur when we move from the lower steady state from the lower steady state to the upper steady state that's when we say runaway took place the ignition temperatures occur at the point of the tangency you know that already صح? the ignition temperatures occurs at the point of tangency of heat removed curve to the heat generative curve so let's for example let's look at this curve which is curve e okay curve e and for curve E, this is the RT, and of course you have this curve which is GT, and where is the tangency? This is the tangency here. Okay, that's the tangency for this curve E or straight line E. Come on. And okay, so this is the tangency, and this is actually where the ignition takes place place because as we explained earlier with any slight increase in the feed temperature above t05 you will lose this lower steady state and you will only have upper steady states whether it is ts11 or slightly or or higher i should say okay that's where you have a big jump and the temperature inside the reactor this is ts10 this is ts11 so it will jump the reactor will ignite where you have a sudden increase in the steady state temperature from ts10 to from ts10 to ts11 as you can see it's a huge jump in temperature if we move slightly of point of tangency, then runaway is said to occur. So as I explained, slightly we move away from the tangency line. Okay, if this line goes a little bit to the right, I'll lose this steady state. And I'll have only this steady state and above. In the shown figure, this figure, the runaway temperature is Tc. So here we call this guy tc t critical okay at which the reactor temperature is t star 
this is the T star. So we have to be aware of this guy, T critical, whatever this T critical is, whatever it's, where it's coming from. For instance, we saw that if you have an adiabatic operation, then this T critical is basically the T naught, the feet temperature. Okay, uh, so let me say the runaway temperature is T C, T critical, okay, at which the reactor temperature is T star. And again, just to remind you, this runaway temperature is the same as the ignition temperature. Okay, so that was the runaway story. And here, Shabab, I encourage you to watch the this video so this report which is about the runaway reaction and explains the explosion at t2 laboratory please look at this title runaway explosion at t2 laboratories in youtube and watch this video so here according to the u.s chemical safety and hazard investigation board on december 19 2007 a runaway chemical reaction during the production of a gasoline additive destroyed T2 laboratories in Jacksonville, Florida, killing four people and injuring 32 others. Very bad incident. Very bad incident. The blast, equivalent to about 1,400 pounds of TNT, damaged buildings and injured office workers hundreds of feet away. Why this happened? Because you had a runaway chemical reaction okay please watch this video and and of course do the test yourself here solve this problem as well with this we reach the end of lecture 51 see you soon in lecture 52